Oui, c'est beau. Ouais, c'est beau ça. Ah non, il est. Hey, c'est dommage. Il avait l'air gros pourtant. Ouais, ils ont l'air beaux. Lucky enough to find a canoe cart on this portage too. Got 300 meters to do. Today's lunch, McSweeney's beef jerky, proudly Canadian, really like the jerky, not sponsored but be awesome if I would be. Look at that jerky boy, yeah, look at that piece of jerky. <laughs> Mais prends ton temps pareil. Decent size. Wow. Wow.
we uh, just arrived on the other campsite and we're getting the tent set up and getting all set. The sun's coming out finally. Really nice. Got to take some layers off. Yeah. We ended up releasing that pike. Uh, we're going to try to catch a, a bigger one. Try to catch some walleye too. So let's set up the tent and then go fishing. Beauty walleye. A few centimeters too small to keep. They got to be 50. So put him back. Good, the bareback set up and the site is looking comfortable. We got some wood. All we're missing is fish. I caught that one walleye and then uh, a small pike. Quand tu as ton autre décor, tu vois. Ah ouais, tu peux plus te permettre. Ah oui, des, 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 des petits bois qui verts, ça prend un peu. Là. First half of the bannock. That should fold pretty good. Go grab the other half. Gotta concentrate, make sure I don't lose any in the fire. That really simple recipe. There's lots of recipes on on internet. Uh, my recipe, I put usually three cups of flour, and then I'll put a tablespoon of sugar, a tablespoon of salt. I'll put uh, maybe brown sugar or white sugar, and then I usually put one or two tablespoons of uh, baking powder. 
and then I like to, uh, when I'm camping, roll it on a stick like this. It tastes a little bit more smoky and gives it a good flavor. I added also some dried cranberries. You can put like nuts, dried cranberries, dried blueberries, um, whatever berries you find out in the bush too that are edible. Getting smoked. <laughs> And then, so three, yeah, three cups of flour, and I want to put one or three of uh, like the liquid. So at home, I'll I'll use milk. I'll I'll put one cup of milk, and out here I just put one cup of water. That works fine. And then the baking powder, uh, one or two tablespoons, yeah. making sure nothing will fall off. And then I planted this stick in the ground and used a log so I can lower my bannock right on the fire like that. I forgot to mention too, I, uh, I put a little bit of butter in my recipe too, maybe I don't know, like a bit of butter, <laughs> melt it, throw it in there. Perfect. Go wash my hands. Oh, I forgot to mention, if uh, you do bannock like this on the stick, make sure you use a stick that doesn't taste anything and that's uh, not like toxic tree or toxic wood. So my go-to tree is white birch. The bannock's just about ready. We took some uh, some pieces from the bottom. It took 40 minutes, 10 minutes to cook on the four sides. It's about 8.30 now, caught a super nice walleye, slightly too short, so put him back. Man, it's fun catching fish. Well, the rest of the night was pretty uneventful and uh, going to bed. Good night. Morning, folks. Slept super good. Slept a good nine hours from 10 to 7 rained last night good thing we put our firewood under the undercover here it's 
get a fire going and cook some oatmeal. Ok, je vais l'envoyer dans le trou à fric. T'es-tu bien scientifique avec ta quantité d'eau que tu mets dans... Oui, il dit, ben c'est pas compliqué, c'est une demi-tasse par pochette, fait que puis ça, ça contient une ah, tasse. Un, deux, ou oh, ouais. Fait que... Complet ou non? Oui, oui. Les mardeux pareil, moi je suis à Eh oui. Parce que, tu sais, il n'y a plus. Que là, que là, non, puis là, on, on s'est installé au sol.
Mm. Nice walleye. These are called uh, doré in French. Doré means golden, so they're the golden color. Nice. <laughs> right behind us where uh, we caught the walleye, there's a nice osprey nest on this little island. I'm going to try to get a little bit closer. Just leaving McGuffin Lake Portage. Back on the water, the sun's out. Got crystal clear. Perfect. Can you guys hear that? Silence. Couple arrowheads. Couple lilies. Super quiet. Just heading into Jackson Lake. It's perfect, it's the biggest lake. No wind, so we can travel pretty good with the canoe. Look at this. Super nice. I feel like we're in a painting. More arrowheads. Super calm. Can't wish for better canoeing weather. It's almost 12 o'clock too. Middle of the day. Quick break on shore for a chocolate bar. This is a different little campsite. Fire pit there, there's two fire pits over there too. Sun's out. All right guys, we're uh, arriving in maybe five minutes to the place where we launch the canoe so uh, this will most likely be the end of uh, the video I'll keep the camera handy just in case we 
we see any kind of wildlife or anything special and uh, yeah this was an awesome trip had lots of fun caught lots of fish caught maybe a dozen pike and I caught a total of five walleye everything was too small to keep uh, here with the fishing regulations you really have to catch some big uh, big fish to keep them and eat them but uh, catch and release still lots of fun and uh, we were pretty ha happy about the weather too we got some rain last night uh, during the night but this morning and during the day we had no rain at all pretty much so uh, yeah if you uh, are still watching right now I just want to thank you guys for uh, for watching my videos and if you really like the videos please uh, click the like button and uh, share that would uh, really help me out and I can I can uh, make more videos like this and uh, even if you guys don't really it's so much fun I'll keep doing videos anyways um, but yeah thanks for watching and uh, yeah I hope you guys enjoyed it cheers mm -hmm.